Okay, so I'm extracting honey from just one frame today. If you have a full super, then you're going to probably want to use um, an extractor, one of the metal extractors. Um, if you don't have one, they can be a little pricey, so check with your local beekeeping association and they might have one that you can use. But if you're just doing a frame or two because they're getting honey bound, it might not be worth going to that extent. Um, this is just a cheap and easy way to do it. I have a garbage bag down on this table. I have a capping scratcher, a knife, and this is a plastic tea pitcher with a little spigot on the, on the bottom here. This is a splatter catcher that you would put over a pan when you're frying. Now if you have one that's rounded out that could fit exactly over that, that would be ideal. Since I don't, that's why I have the garbage bag down in case there's any dripping. And then a cheesecloth will protect the screen from getting all gunked up. So, I'm going to take my frame and use my scratcher to open up all these capped areas. I'm going to do that to both sides. And try to make sure you get every cell. This one is not so much capped on this side, so I don't have to be as thorough. And then I'm going to cut the comb out of the frame. I'm actually going to cut this in half to do it in two sections since it is rather small. Um, I'm going to stack them on top of each other and let the honey drip into the pitcher. So I'm trying to make sure that the honeycomb is right over the pitcher. There still might be some leakage, but it'll take the honeycomb a little while to drip through. But it'll separate from the comb, the metal, and anything undesirable that might have come along with it. I was pretty careful when selecting this one. There wasn't any kind of larva. Um, but you never know. So this will filter all that out and then I'll let it drain then it'll be ready to pour through the spigot and that's the cheap way to do it.